Yo! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC and make it work with any game that has controller support. I'll also help you troubleshoot controller detection issues on both wired and wireless connections. All right, let's get started today. If you want a wired connection, pick up your USB to micro USB cable, plug the micro end into the controller, not the big end, you big dummy, then plug the other end into your USB port. If your controller isn't being detected, try connecting it to another USB port. If that doesn't work, change the core if you have a spare one lying around. If you have a PS5 console, your controller's firmware will already be up to date if you've used it recently. If you're like me and you bought a PS5 controller specifically to use with PC games, it's best you update the firmware because each firmware update keeps the controller's haptic feedback and adaptive triggers compatible with the latest games. But with only 14 games released in 2022 that natively took advantage of these features, you may not even care about updating the firmware, especially since they require the connection to be wired before they can work. Pretty inconvenient in my opinion, but here's how you can update the firmware if you're interested in trying them out. Click the update the wireless controller firmware link in the video's description, click download, run the installer. If you need additional software, the installer will tell you, so just follow the instructions it gives you. Once the installation is complete, tick launch program and click finish. Connect your controller to your PC using the USB cable, wait for the process to complete, and you're done. If you want to connect your PS5 controller to your PC using Bluetooth, click start, type Bluetooth, and click here to be taken to the Bluetooth system settings. If your PC's motherboard doesn't have Bluetooth built in, or you don't have a Bluetooth dongle, this slider won't show up. To the thankfully only 3.2% of children who watched me in the last 28 days, just tell your parents a Bluetooth dongle will set them back $20. Also, get a job. Turn the slider to the on position, make sure your PS5 controller is off, click add Bluetooth or other device above the slider. On your controller, hold down the PlayStation and share buttons until you see the light bar double flashing like this. When it's flashing, it's safe to put your controller down. On your computer, click the Bluetooth in the added device window and your controller should appear almost instantly. When that happens, click it. A window will pop up telling you it's setting up the device. Meanwhile, the light bar will become a solid color. Then another window will pop up saying your device is ready to go. To turn off your controller and save the battery, press and hold the PlayStation button until the light bar turns off. Now Steam has the best controller support for games, unlike the dumpster fire they decided to name Epic. On Steam, you can find your controller's settings by clicking Steam, then settings. When the window pops up, select controller, then click general controller settings. Turn on your controller and it should instantly detect it. If you're someone who forgets to turn off their controller after they finish using it, you can change the controller shutdown time here. Click your controller, then use your controller to navigate around the screen because it's glitchy as hell when you use your mouse. In preferences, you can give your controller a name. I can't think of anyone sad enough to give their controller a name, but I can guarantee they'll probably die alone. In this section, you can also change your light bar's color, brightness, and saturation. And if you notice any drifting in games, such as your in-game character moving or looking around on its own when you're not even touching your controller. You can click calibrate and try to fix it here by allowing it to auto calibrate your joysticks or by manually setting the dead zones for them. Only look at this section though if you're experiencing problems. All right, so now I'll show you where you can access your controller settings on the Epic Store. Ha, psych. Epic has no controller settings because it's a piece of garbage software. They don't even have the respect to tell you if your controller will work with any game before you buy it. Literally the lowest IQ software out there. If your PS5 controller doesn't work with a game you bought on Epic or you downloaded a game for free because you're a filthy internet pirate, check if the game is listed on Steam and has controller support. If it does, here's how you can add it to Steam to get your controller supported. Click add a game at the bottom left and then click add a non-Steam game. In this section, you can either add the Epic Games Launcher to Steam or find that game manually by clicking browse. For this example, I'm just going to add the Epic Games Launcher. Select the EXE file and open it. With it ticked, click add selected programs and when you search for it afterwards in your library, it should be there. Click play to open it and it'll launch through Steam. Keep in mind there are some games that have controller support, but specifically for Xbox controllers and not the PS5. Fortunately, the easiest way around this is by downloading DS4 Windows. The program works by tricking your PC into thinking you have an Xbox controller connected. The benefit of this is any game with any type of controller support is likely to have Xbox controller support by default. DS4 Windows is completely free, so navigate to the link I've left in the description and you'll find yourself here. To use DS4 Windows, you'll first have to download the drivers that say require next to the name. Right click and open Vision Bus in a new tab. Scroll down, click the download button and install it. Then open the Microsoft.net runtime in a new tab, which should initiate the download. Install that too. If you experience any problems running DS4 Windows, then you need to come back here and install .NET SDK. Then it should work fine. Finally, click download the official DS4 app, then the download button. Once the download's complete, extract the folder anywhere on your hard drive, go into it and run DS4 Windows.exe. When you turn on your controller, it should detect it, which means 
means you're good to go. What's cool about this program is its simplicity because all you literally need to do is open it. You can also see the battery percentage and change the color of the light bar here. All right, we're done. I hope you have a good one today.